Hello all. Today I will demonstrate you how to calculate age using date picker control, time picker control and simple date format class in Android Kotlin. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Here you can choose the empty activity. Then you can click on next. Here you can just give the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is calculate age demo. Then you can choose the language. I'm choosing the language that is Kotlin and then you can click on finish. Let me clear what I want to do. I want to take a one edit text. Whenever user click on that particular edit text, I want to open the date picker control. And then once the user click on the particular date, I want to open the time picker control. And based on the date and time, I want to calculate the perfect difference between the today's date and the date picker for the uh, for the date of birth or any cal age calculation. So first of all, you need to move to activity main.xml file. Here you, you can just click on split and then you can simply remove this text view. Now here you can just click on source system user interface. Now here you can uh, just click on text. Here you can just uh, take the any edit text. I'm just taking the edit text that is plain text. Here you can just click on info constraint and here you can just give the hint. Hint is choose date of birth and time. So you need to choose the date and time. I don't want the text property. I want only hint that is date of birth and time. Whenever user click on this button, that button is calculate age. It means once the date is selected and whenever user click on this button that is calculate age, I want to calculate the age. So I'm just taking one button that is calculate age. Whenever user click on this button, I want to display the age in this text view. So I'm just taking here text view over here. You can just click on text view and then you can just uh, add the size over here that is text to size for example a 12 point then you can just add the text to style that is bold and then you can give the text to color i'm just giving the text color is f00 it means it will be red and then uh, you can just make here that is this text you should be invisible so here you can just set the visibility that is gone so whenever user click on this calculate age button i want that that text view should be displayed so let me move to my main activity.kotlin file first of all what i want to do first of all whenever uh, user click on this edit text i want to open the date picker control so here you can just uh, set in edit text you can just write the on click event so i'm just writing here on click it means whenever user click on this on uh, this edit text I want to open the date and time picker control. So I'm just writing here open date time picker. You need to create the function. You can press alter enter and create the function. The function will be created in your main activity dot Kotlin file. So whenever user click on edit text, I want to open the date picker dialog. So I'm just writing here date picker dialog. Here in the date picker dialog, you need to provide the five argument. There are lots of constructor are there you can use the constructor for example i am just passing here this that is for the current context then you can use the date picker dialog dot on date set listener it means whenever user click on that particular date uh, what you want to do it means what action you want to choose so i'm just writing here on date set listener so whenever user choose particular date what you want to do that you can write over here and then you can just provide the year, month and day. For year, month and day, you can even take the calendar instance and even you can pass the static. I'm just writing here static year that is 2020. Then you can pass the month. I'm writing the month that is a seven. Why? Because the month index is starting from zero. So whenever you put seven, it will take the August month. Then you can pass the day of the month. I'm just writing the day of the month is 5th August. So I'm just writing here five. Once you put all these things, you can just click on dot show. It means your uh, 
date picker control will be displayed whenever user choose any date what you want to do that you can write over here in this curly braces so let me execute this application and you can just check so here you can see that whenever user click on this uh, choose date of birth and time uh, edit text the today's date that is 5th august 2020 is coming over here but whenever i click on ok the date is not displayed over here so to put the date over here in this text view you you need to simply write like this variable dt is equal to and then you can simply write that dollar now this is your parameter that is i i2 and that is i3 here you can say that this is your parameter of year this is the parameter of month and this is the parameter of dd that is date so, so you can simply write that dd slash here month index is starting from zero so you can simply write dollar mm plus one and slash you can simply write dollar yy so whenever uh, user do uh, choose any particular date you can just set to your text view so you can simply write text view dot set text but right now my text view is a uh, definitely uh, it is invisible so i will just set to my edit text so edit text dot set text and here you can set the date that is your variable so whenever you execute this application you can see that whenever user pick any date for example let me pick the date that is the date is today's date and i'm just clicking on okay here you can see that 5 8 2020 is there right but not only date i want to choose the time also so right now i am not setting to this edit text right now i am taking one more control that is time picker control so you can simply write time picker control that is time picker dialog here there are uh, again context from context to listener hour minute and 24 hour you there are five arguments are there so you can just provide the first argument that is uh, context then in listener you can write that on time set listener so whenever user click particular time what you want to do so here you uh, that particular code you can write in this curly braces and then you can provide the hour minute and is 24 hour view that the value you can write over here right now i am just writing here that is 13 uh, suppose i am writing here 10 and the seconds is 15 and is 24 over you suppose if you want that 24 over you then you can write the true no i don't want the 24 over view so i am writing here false and then you can simply call your method that is dot show but what if user choose particular date so here this i and i2 argument is hour and minute so you can simply write here that is dt plus is equal to here you can concatenate your value and that the value is dollar hh colon dollar mi and here you can put some uh, that is minute so here instead of mm you can simply write mi and here you can put some space if it is required so i'm just putting the space and after that now you can set your value into your edit text so i'm just writing here edit text dot set text and that is variable dt so whenever user click on your application you can just see over here whenever i am choosing the date and time whenever i am clicking over here it will show me the uh, today's date and then it will show me the time that is 10 15 because i am passing here static 10 15 and whenever you click on ok the date and time will be available over here but not only this i want that this should be uh, a system date and system time right now it is static so for the system date and time here you can just take the variable that is c is equal to calendar dot you can just call get instance and here you can simply pass for year you can write c dot get and then you can pass calendar dot year here in month you can write c dot get and calendar dot month and for this day of the month you can simply write c dot get calendar dot day of month and for this hour and minute you can write here c dot get 
you can pass calendar dot hour and here for minute you can pass c dot get calendar dot and it is minute so whenever you execute this it will get the system date and system time so let me execute my application you can see over here whenever i am just clicking on this choose date of uh, date of birth and time it is giving me the current date that is today's date that is 5th august and the time is 1 36 and here you can select the am or pm so i'm just writing here okay so it is 13 36 right now the system time now whenever user click on this calculate age so it means uh, suppose if i am selecting here that is the days before two days right and whenever i'm just clicking on uh, the time and whenever i'm clicking on calculate age i want to calculate the total number of days hour minute and using the seconds so whenever user click on calculate age i want to calculate the particular age so here i'm writing the code for the calculate age here in calculate age this is the button here you can implement the method on click you can call the function that is calculate age Definitely, I need to create the function so you can press alt or enter and you can create the function that is calculate age. So your calculate age function will be created over here. Now you can write the code over here in calculate age function. So definitely we need a today's date. So I'm just creating one variable that is variable today is equal to you can call java.util class that is date. So your date constructor will be called and the today's date with the time will be uh, inserted into this today variable now here you can create the uh, you can get the value of your date of birth and that is available in your edit text so i'm just taking that data dot text dot to string so my edit text it means the my uh, selected date is available in this edit text it will be available in now this variable that is dobs now once it is done now you can use the uh, simple date format class to convert your date into the ddmmyy hour and minute format so you can just call sdf is equal to simple date format that is available in java.text package and then here you can just provide the your format that is ddmmyyyy and then you can pass hour and minute now once it is done you can create an instance of DOB uh, to pass your actual date into that is uh, this is simple date format. So my date, data is available in this DOBS. It will be converted into this format based on this SDF. So you can simply call SDF.pass function and then you can simply pass your DOBS. So your date of birth that is the whatever the user has selected that will be converted into date instance. Once it is converted into date instance, now you can find the difference between two days. So one date is today's date. Another date is the date inserted by the user that is date of birth. Now you can calculate the number of days. So I'm just calculating the days is equal to. Now you can just simply call today.time minus you can pass that is your dob dot time. But it will return the value in milliseconds. So to convert the milliseconds into days, you must know the number of milliseconds available in per day. So per day seconds are 86,400 and the milliseconds is per second that is 1000. So we need more three zeros over here. So the, uh, you need to divide, in short you need to divide the value by number of milliseconds in a day. Then you can call variable hours is equal to now you can call a same thing that is today dot time minus date of birth dot time and now once you get the value module by eight six four zero 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 and then divided by number of hours in a day uh, number of hours in a day that is 24 hours and in 24 hours how many milliseconds are there so number of milliseconds in hour that you need to divide so that will be uh, definitely 3600 uh, 
seconds multiplied by 1000 that is the milliseconds so uh, definitely in one hour there are uh, 60 minutes are there and for in each minute there are 60 seconds are there and for each 60 minute each 60 seconds i need uh, 1000 milliseconds so the value will be 36 lakhs then you can call one more variable that is variable minutes is equal to you need to do the same thing whatever you got the value module by this and divided by number of milliseconds in one minute so number of milliseconds in one minute that will be 60000 why because in one minute there are 60 seconds and for each seconds there are 1000 milliseconds to calculate the second you can simply call the same thing that you did in a minute but it will be converted into modulo now and then you can divide it by number of milliseconds in one second so number of millisecond in one second is 1000 so you can simply divide it by 1000 so your all variable is ready now you can simply write a text view dot visibility is equal to view dot visible so your text view will be visible and then you can simply set the text view dot set text days is equal to dollar your variable that is days slash n then you can write hours is equal to dollar your variable that is hours slash n then you can write minutes is equal to dollar your variable that is minutes then you can write simply seconds is equal to dollar and that your variable that is second and then you can simply re-execute your application and you can check that you can calculate that it is working properly or not suppose i am selecting here uh, a today's date but the time is a little bit different the time is that is for example 7:43 in a uh, 7:35 in a morning and then you can click on ok and then you can just click on calculate age it is a 6 hour 88 minutes and 51 seconds you can whenever you click again see here uh, the value will be changed see it is 9 minutes 6 hour 9 minute and 1 second it means your value will be getting changed Whenever I'm choosing the date, for example, I'm just choosing the date before uh, two months, for example, right? So whenever you uh, you need to provide the time, I'm just clicking on calculate age. See, it is a uh, 59 days, 12 hours, zero minute, and 21 seconds. Suppose if you change the time and date again, for example, let me choose my birth date. So I'm just choosing that. Uh, 1985 March 8 uh, it is not August so let me choose the day uh, that is March 8 1985 and then I'm just choosing the time that is not a.m. it is p.m. and it is 1 and the second is 0 uh, sorry 0 5 so 1 and 5 p.m. and then you can click on calculate age it means I live for 12,934 days 0 hours, 40 minutes and 1 seconds. Suppose if you want to calculate the age in a year, then you can just divide the same value by 365 and uh, definitely you will be able to get the age in a year. So this is the way you can calculate the age in a days, hours, minutes and seconds using Kotlin in Android. That's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.